train bit by bit, I'm going to show images of progressive multifocal leg encephalopathy, which occurs in immunocompromised patients. It is caused by activation of the GC or John Cunningham polyoma virus that infects oligodendrocytes. And it gives asymmetric hyperintensity of the white matter on MRI with involvement of the subcortical U fibers. The abnormalities are sharp towards the gray matter and blurry towards the ventricle. The main differential is HIV encephalopathy, which is more symmetrical and does not infect the subcortical U fibers. So if there's sparing of the subcortical U fibers, you should think of HIV and cephalopathy. And when they're involved, you should think of PML. PML does not enhance, only in the case of immune reconstitution, which we will discuss in the next vlog. Oligodendrocytes are derived from neural progenitors and sometimes there's also involvement of astrocytes who have common progenitor with the oligodendrocyte in PML. Myelin is not just a passive insulator, but it's a much more dynamic process than many people realize. And the oligodendrocytes wrap myelin around the axons of the nerves. And in very long axons, there are different oligodendrocytes that provide the myelin on each side of the node of Ranvier. And if the, the oligodendrocytes become infected by the JC virus, you can see under the microscope oligodendrocytes with large nuclei and if you look at the nuclei with electron microscopy you can see viral particles that are filamentous and that are spherical giving it a spaghetti and meatball appearance. In 2014 a Japanese group described low signal on susceptibility weighted images in PML in the subcortical U fibers that occurred in the cause of the disease and which is probably an endpoint of neuroinflammation and caused by iron deposition. And as said, PML occurs in immunocompromised patients, initially in patients with HIV, but with more immunosuppressant and immunomodulators also in patients with rheumatoid diseases and multiple sclerosis. And multiple sclerosis can also affect the subcortical U fibers. So if you see this low signal on SWI, you know that it's PML and not a mul the multiple sclerosis itself. Thanks for watching and until next time, when I will show images of immune reconstitution in patients with PML.